people picked up, laid, dropped off, missed uh, work, missed clients, been left at doctor's appointments. Just actually feared writing paratransit because I wasn't dropped off at the right place and that driver pulled off. Mm -hmm. The heated debate surrounding Detroit's paratransit services, which provides transportation for riders with disabilities, coming to a head today. A representative from the Michigan Department of Justice listening to and documenting personal testimonies from Detroiters who call the services nightmarish. 7 Action News reporter Sarah Grimmer has been covering the topic for weeks and breaks down what those who use the service were asking today. I've had it all picked up, laid, dropped off, missed uh, work, missed clients, been left at doctor's appointments, just sitting around with the doctor looking at me like, what, do I got to take you home? Board member for Detroit's National Federation of the Blind Chapter, Richard Clay, helped lead Saturday's town hall in Detroit, diving into the described terrors of Detroit's paratransit program. While a lot of people think that it just happened, uh, since they've been seeing it on their TVs and reading about it in the paper for the past two, three months, there actually has been a paratransit crisis going on for years in the city. Up until this month, 70% of Detroit's paratransit services were provided by French-based company Transdev, and these Detroiters reiterated Saturday that the service has been terrible. Those who are blind say that they would frequently be dropped off at the wrong location. Those in wheelchairs said that they wouldn't be properly strapped in. And actually feared riding paratransit because I wasn't dropped off at the right place and the driver pulled off. Mm -hmm. According to Clay, all of 2022, the blind community believed that when Transdev's contract was up this winter, the city would not renew them. But this November, they learned that Transdev was up for a five-year, $49 million new contract. Clay and other riders went to city council to tell them that this new contract could not happen. City council heard us. They tried to help us to negotiate changes in the contract, a shorter contract, or a contract without transitive period, the mayor and his directors, they just resisted. At the end of November, city council voted down the new transdev contract, but the disaster doesn't stop there. About 1,000 local riders with disabilities rely on paratransit a day. By getting rid of transdev, who provided 70% of those services, that left hundreds of Detroiters with disabilities without a ride to doctor's appointments and more. To leave them in a lurch like this is against federal law. So in December, Mayor Mike Duggan put out an emergency contract that would continue paratransit services through four new temporary contracts. But many of the people in this room on Saturday said they don't see Mayor Duggan as a hero. What he failed to tell the city was that he created that crisis. Some of us don't see with our eyes but we see very clearly what's going on. For 7 Action News, I'm Sarah Grimmer reporting.